and select three cards, stack them face down while on top of each other. Say that. I literally was about to say that. Um, but really thinking about these ideas of blue with truth and just kind of your throat, speaking your truth is a very big, you already know, but that's a very big thing for you right now. And I would also think about start noticing the ways that the color blue shows up for you in your life. Okay. You'll probably want to start to see some interesting scenes. Okay, very cool. Huh. So, the duck card. Now, this seeing this card for you does not surprise me at all. Okay. The duck card is not about actual death. Um, when we think about death, death is the ending. It is the closing of one cycle. So that another and you are going through a huge change. You are slowing yourself <laughs> <laughs> to caravan around and really kind of create this life on your own terms. And that's kind of that's kind of the depth of like the life that you want to have. Yeah. One of my best friends called me this morning and was like. You use a voice when you're hiding and you're scared, and the real you is a badass boss bitch, and I hope that when you go on this journey, you leave the scared girl behind and just live in that space. And so when you explained what Death Card would mean, especially for it to come just hours apart, okay, yeah. it is the end of that girl, and the girl that is no longer afraid and is ready to dive in and do everything that comes at her. I think that that's cool, because when you flipped over the card, I was like, um, <laughs> which, but now it's empowering. But, so that's the whole thing is like, you know, there's, death is a natural part of life within like, any way you look at it, <laughs> yeah. what that means. But especially when thinking about, this is about the closing of the cycle. And you are closing out a huge cycle. An 18 year chapter. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of change is too, is too much for a right card. Okay. So it goes, it, it goes black. Um, also, the game, you know, what you're just saying, it's gone black. Like, black does not show the color. But black is all of the colors. All of the colors are not white. Black holds the power of all of the colors. And it holds the possibility of all of the colors. When black cards show up for ourselves, it's about big changes in our relationship with power. Cool. And most typically, and especially with the death card, that's about, you know, re restarting, beginning again. You know, being at the beginning of your new relationship to power. To your own power, to standing in your own power, to gaining your own power, and also the possibility. This is a huge thing for that part two, and it's basically I've heard you talk about a couple of things that you said, and we have all of these like little ways that we just have to be a person in this world, we have a really limited idea of what possibility exists for us. Mm -hmm. And if the that part is saying that that doesn't work for you and mm -hmm. that you are ready to access all of the endless possibility, all of the limitless possibility that exists for you. And you're willing to do the hard part. Because the death part already like, have it. It's already done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You already told all your stuff. You got an itinerary. You got you told everyone you're gonna do the thing. Yeah. And when they ask, they're like, Where are you going? What are you doing? I'm like, whatever the hell I want. <laughs> <laughs> Is about closing out a chapter to start a chapter. 
But to, you know, to kind of reclaim their power within us and to get people within their free word. Yeah. And what you're saying is, yeah, there really is. That is so cool. And especially if you're thinking about, like, in terms of being in global pandemic and having a city torn apart by tornado and bachelorettes and floods and <laughs> all yeah, the things we've survived in Nashville yeah. for the last couple of years. Exactly. All of the things. And, you know, this, like, the ways that this has shaped all of us. And there's some ways that, you know, it's shaped us collectively. We have this, like, vivid certainty. And then we have to decide what to do with that. And, you know, whether I talk about it, whether it's going to be something restrictive or expansive. Expansive or restrictive. And so thinking about this is like one of the most expansive parties you can possibly pull. Because this the is black and the all the colors and okay. The truth That's like the black and the, uh, the idea of death. Because that is like the definitive saying that that doesn't work for you anymore. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then going back with the idea of the possibility, the power of all the colors, being able to access that by closing out the chapter. Um, to, you know, create your own, the next chapter, the next chapter. So that was like really an exciting thing. That's an exciting thing to do with, you know, not just this season of life, but that is such a powerful thing to be able to do in this life. Yes. Because there are very few times that people generally choose to do this. Mm -hmm. And so, Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, it was like visceral when you flipped it over and I was like, oh, no, it is cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. And then we come up here to your present energy where you pull the blue one star. And this one is just like so funny to me to see here. Because, yeah, you just gave like, away everything check. you have. <laughs> Does it feel constant? 
And then the other thing there is that yellow is the color of the solar plexus chakra. And the solar plexus chakra rules all about our relationship to ourselves. And one of the affirmations for the solar plexus chakra is, I trust my decisions. <laughs> That's amazing. This is all about reclaiming that kind of being on your own power and this idea of kind of self sovereignty. Mm -hmm. And I can't imagine like more than an adventure of self sovereignty <laughs> and what you're about to embark on. Yeah. And it's, it's so exciting to see these people these ideas truly support each other. Definitely. And that it's not a fluke, it's not just, you know, this portion that developed differently or whatever. Like, it's really there. It and is. It's, it's, it's true. Yeah. And you just have to know what to look for, which is so interesting about it all. Right, and, and it's super exciting. And so, looking at these cards, too, thinking about, you know, death kind of being about where you are, this idea of cleanse about kind of like refreshing, reclaiming, reclaiming where you are, but then especially when you look at the imagery of this trust, it's like really the ripples. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. The ripples. And it's about all the ways that this is you and then you are Yes. Well, and how, in, in that if you do it in reverse, like that, unless you trust what you have going on and let go of those things you can't, and what was holding you back and move forward. And on like the surface level, you keep talking about my voice and trusting what I have to say. And wow. like, I have been so insecure about my speaking voice that like wow. I haven't wanted to chase any of those things. Wow. And then, I had to do all these video job interviews for <laughs> COVID, and I was like, oh, I hate the sound of my voice, I hate recording things, and I never would have been like, okay, I'll sit down and just tell people all these things, um, because I hate the sound of my voice, but I just, I had to do it so much for the jobs that I didn't want, that I then didn't care, and cool. and then my voice came out, and then yes. I don't want to hide under the table when I hear it, and, and so it killed that old part of me, at least all of those things that held me back and yeah. made me trust that it's okay. That's so cool to see another way that this kind of apply, that these ideas apply. Yeah. Huh. Well, thank you so much. You're so I welcome. really appreciate it. This was so incredible. It, like it felt so good the first time, yeah. and I like. And the colors didn't really resonate with me that much. Uh -huh. I just I enjoyed the experience, yeah. and I thought that it was really interesting. Yeah. Um, but to feel how my new authentic self and the colors that I'm showing, that it, it really does do exactly what I was hoping for when I came. So thank you. I, you are so welcome. <laughs> I'm so excited to hear that. And I'll say another thing that's interesting about even that too, given your two photos and how much Fred was there is that, especially with Fred, something that I see with clients is that people aren't always that excited to be that Fred. And typically, a kind of a shadow aspect of that can be that there are decisions that need to be made that they're not ready to make. Yeah. But you did the thing. <laughs> <laughs> to show people it's like what's there yeah i mean mm -hmm. that camera just yeah. knows what's there exactly it's visual affirmations it's electricity like you can't you can't fake really it and cool what can i yeah. do to change it <laughs> yeah it's like well if you i depending on how long you've studied energy you might be able to <laughs> shift it but mm -hmm. like yeah that's all that even that is practice and there's no guarantees there that that will work so yeah. mm -hmm. so exciting yeah, this is a